Let's talk about things to improve our memory. Number one, learning a new skill. Studies show that if you learn a new language, an instrument, it's been shown to help with memory. I myself started playing piano, something I've always wanted to do. 15 minutes a day on a keyboard, that's all it takes. We all have 15 minutes in a day. So if you're working on your memory, if you want to increase that brain power, then go and learn a new skill. Put your time and energy there. Number two, doing things over and over again. That also helps our memory. It becomes part of a habit. If you ever listen to Atomic Habits by James Clear, he talks about when you want to learn a new habit, incorporate it into something you're already doing. Every morning, get up, brush my teeth. So if you want to do something different, incorporate it into a habit that you're already doing. It makes it that much easier. Acronyms, abbreviations, mnemonics, they all help with memory as well. Think about Roy G. Biv and the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, <laughs> you get my point. Try to turn off the GPS. What? My daughter is 20 years old. When she was younger, she had a great sense of direction. Now, no, I think she's totally lost confidence in her sense of direction. She relies so much on GPS. I'm like, is it north, south? I don't know. I'm like, how do you not know? I don't get it. In my head, I need to know where I'm going before I go somewhere. So if I don't have that picture in my head, it actually causes a little anxiety. I know it's one of my quirks. But I plan it out ahead of time. So stop using the GPS. Know where you are. You build a better sense of direction. Think is better being busy or not having any plans at all. That's right, being busy. Or planning it out ahead of time, knowing what you're gonna do. When you don't have things planned out, you're more likely to waste some time. And it's not great for your memory because you just your mind's not used to it. Especially if you go from go, go, go to not doing much. I think this is one of the reasons why people have a hard time when they retire. They're so used to having a structure and then they don't have that structure and it becomes a problem. So if you have some time coming up, or if you have a vacation or whatever it is, make sure you plan things out. One or two things each and every day. That's all it takes. But that also will help with your memory. So one of the things you don't want to do is just become blah, not know what to do, I'm bored. It doesn't help your memory at all. Checklists can definitely help. So when you're planning it out, consider doing a checklist. Also, when you chunk information together, it's too hard to memorize multiple things. That's why when we're memorizing telephone numbers, not that anybody does that anymore with our contact list, but it was always three numbers and then four numbers. We chunk that information together. It was easier to memorize. Talk a little about sleep. Getting at, at minimum seven hours, I try to get eight hours myself. And then of course, Plenty of studies to show that that blue light, the screens with your phone right before bed is not good. It disrupts your sleep. Not having adequate sleep can really hurt your memory as well. Studies show that the overnight workers, higher chance of dementia. Speaking about dementia, also the nutrition, the food that we're eating, high in sugar, sugar causes inflammation, also can affect our brain function as well. So again, if we're working on our memory, whole foods, nutritious foods. Think about the rainbow of colors, the periphery of the, the grocery store. Beans are a great way too, great source of fiber. Most Americans, we're not getting that recommended 25 grams of fiber. So think about the nutrition that you're eating. Exercise is a great way, especially cardiac exercise, to help increase our memory. And we're thinking about exercise as well, it also decreases stress. They go hand in hand, right? Because when you think about stress, it actually hurts your memory. A little bit of stress or anxiety is probably good. Too much, not good. One of my favorite things is taking a walk outside. The green, the nature has been shown to help with memory and our well-being as well. Now I do have a treadmill in the basement. I like it on very cold days. I also like it when it's raining. But the mere fact of getting outside, it actually helps our balance. It's different than the treadmill where it's pace, 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 the same, you know, after each uh, step. But when we're outside, there's curbs, there's ups and downs. It helps more with balance. So consider walking outside for being in the green nature, as well as that uneven pavement. When I was younger, 13 years old, I was treated at Memorial Sloan Kettering for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now they told me at the time, you're not gonna remember much of this. I was like, what? I'm losing my hair. I'm pretty gray from all the chemotherapy. I was like, how am I not gonna remember this? It was like unbelievable to me. Years later, 
I don't really remember much of it at all. They were right. I blocked out so many of those memories. People will say things, I don't remember them. I remember before the event, I remember after the event, but I don't remember much of the event itself. So it's true. Too much stress, we have a tendency to protect ourselves, and we don't make many memories. Socialization has been shown to help with memory as well. Most of the studies show that you can be alone up to 75% of the time and still not feel isolated. So if you're a loner, that's okay, but make some time to spend socializing with people. I personally think in person is better, but we don't all have that opportunity. Socialization on social media works as well. You're taking the time to do that. Even catching up with a friend for coffee is a great way to socialize. Speaking about coffee, the caffeine can help also with memory. Not too much though. Too much acts as a diuretic and it dehydrates you. Dehydration has also been shown to decrease our memory. Did we cover enough things for memory? Put in the comments below one of the things that you're going to be working on going forward to help improve your memory. I'll see you on another episode of The Sharon McLaughlin Show. If you like this, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And also, could you do me a favor and share this with somebody else who could benefit? I love you guys. I'll see you on another episode.